and welcome back to my channel. Hi, how are you? <laughs> so today we are gonna be reviewing the amazing, let me grab it. Super excited for this. Sorry about that guys. The new Jeffree Star Bloodlust Palette and Jeffree Star The Gloss and Iridescent Throne. I have been dying to play with this. Unfortunately, this is all I was able to get my hands on. The day that it released, everything sold out so fast online. And then um, I really just, when I went into the Morphe store in Atlanta, I saw this and I was like, yes, thank gosh that they have it. I was super duper excited and I actually, Actually, Iridescent Throne is the color of gloss that I wanted, and that was the only one that they had in stock. So that worked out perfect. The one thing I was bummed about that I was not able to get my hands on was the um, Extreme Frost. Uh, I forget what color, what the name was, but it was the one that had the purple undertones. So I have with me two Jeffree Star highlighters we're gonna play with today. I went ahead and did a full face makeup. Um, I am wearing some Jeffree Star Lippies that I have mixed together to kind of make a little bit of a purple shade. I did um, this one, the Purple Urkel is what I have on the base. And then I went in with a little bit of this mystery shade from his mystery box. And that is what created this really pretty kind of purplish pink lip color that we've got going on today and yeah i'm wearing a little purple tank top i know it almost looks like i'm naked because my hair's covering up my straps so let me throw some hair back um yeah so let's go ahead and get started i'm in no by no means a professional makeup artist i just wanted to hop on and play with some makeup this quarantine in the house is driving me absolutely insane and yeah so let's just jump right in let me grab this beautiful palette and let's go ahead and look at the palette first. So we have this gorgeous packaging with the bleeding crown, which I love so much and the um, Jeffree Star logo on the back, but it's got the snake wrapping around it. That is just so cute. I mean, Jeffree Star always kills it with his packaging. He is phenomenal. When you open this bad boy up, you see the Jeffree Star logo. Let me move my hand so you can see down here. It says Bloodlust, and you see the beautiful star of the show. Oh, geez. Packaging malfunction. Anyways, this is what we want to get into. This gorgeous crushed velvet. Jeffrey is definitely having an obsession with crushed velvet right now. Have we seen his house tour? I mean, like crushed velvet, like I swear on some walls, all of the furniture. It is, his house is gorgeous. It is definitely a palace fit for a queen, which he is a queen. And then the back just has all of, I think it's really cool how they like put the writing on top of the velvet. That what that's kind of new. Then you've got this super cute little latch. You just kind of push it up and then we pop it open here. We've got a mirror up top and then we've got a protective sheet, which is wonderful of Jeffrey and his team to be trying to take care of our palettes for us. So they arrive nice and perfect. And look how pretty this is, y'all. The red threw me off a touch, but red does go really well with purple, and so did this deep teal. Kind of threw me off for a moment. But, you know, Jeffrey has to be wild and throw in those fun colors, but I'm living for it. I absolutely love it. The Sworn Enemy. I mean, can we just look at that? It's like a, um, almost like a green. It's really cool, like an army green. I'm gonna go ahead and take this protective filler off my mirror. Wow, what a big and beautiful mirror. I am so impressed with this palette. This is beautiful, Jeffrey. You outdid yourself. I don't know if you're ever gonna see this video, but you really, you killed it 
Wow, okay, oh my gosh, what colors. I really wanna do like, sorry, I need to adjust. I really wanna do like a fun springy moment. I have my little Betsy Johnson butterfly earrings and they're lavender with my lavender shirt. And there's some beautiful um, lavender wisteria flowers blooming right outside my house. So I think I kinda wanna go take some pictures afterwards in front of it. Um, you know, what else is our girl gonna do at home on a quarantine day? I've already cleaned my whole house. I've gotten rid of about 40 pairs of shoes, 50 bathing suits, um, about 30 trash bags of clothes I've gotten rid of. Got rid of a bunch of makeup. I mean, I'm, the only thing left I have to do is just play with makeup and take pictures. <laughs> so, off to it, I guess. Oh my gosh, what color, what color? All right. Let's start with um, Vivid Mood, which is this beautiful lavender shade, and I'm using my Jeffree Star X Morphe brushes. Oh, it's so pretty, I don't even wanna like dip into it. Um, okay, yeah, I'm just gonna use the mirror that's on the palette. I was gonna use my Jeffree Star handheld mirror, but I'm really um, liking this. So I'm just going to go on the outer corners and in with this kind of doing the center of the upper lid i hope i've got you guys close enough maybe i should come a little closer i'm on my rolly chair today so i can move to you so let's really get it in here we're gonna do a really fun eye color today. I want to kind of swoop that out on the side. Like I said, I'm not a professional makeup artist by any means. I kind of don't even know what I'm doing, but we're playing with makeup. And isn't that kind of what YouTube is about? It's like watching people and you learn from their mistakes and their accomplishments. And I feel like we're going to have some good trial and errors today. We're gonna learn a lot and um, we're gonna love a lot of things that we do as well. Cause I'm already loving this color. Like, oh my God, it is beautiful. Jeffrey's eyeshadows are so pigmented. Like, wow. Never really thought I would be doing makeup tutorials. Definitely something I always wanted to do. I'm obsessed with makeup. I have an entire room dedicated to makeup in my house, but I don't know that I ever really saw myself sitting down and actually filming the videos. My channel is typically Disney based where we open like Disney unboxings and box swaps and um, shopping hauls and things like that. But you know, there's always room for additions to the channel. I did do an Aurora um, Sleeping Beauty Besame collection makeup tutorial. And that one, um, the video was super long because I did a full face, but that's why I went ahead and did my makeup so that way I didn't bore you guys today. Okay, so that was Vivid Mood and we've just kind of got it going all along the crease. Um, what do I want to do next? Let's do Take the Crown, which is um, right here. It is a beautiful iridescent purple up at the very top. Let's just go in with Take the Crown. Right here on the outer. Oh my God, this color is beautiful. I'm gonna do a little bit of a pink moment as well with this, I believe because this wet jewel is just screaming for me to use it. A little bit of fallout, but I mean, it's makeup, honey. Like, if you're expecting to get makeup with no fallout, don't play with makeup. Just blow it away. Okay, let's see. So that was Take the Crown, and we just kind of did that little beat. Maybe a little bit more right there got my jazz music playing in the background. You guys like it? Feeling all sophisticated and fancy in here. Okay, so I really want to blend the pinks and the purples together today. So I'm going to go in with Pink Magic, 
which is this beautiful, um, it's almost like a fuchsia shade, really, really glittery. We're gonna do that in the dead center. Kind of hard to talk to you guys when, um, you know, focusing on makeup. I really wanted to do a cut crease today, guys, but I'm still learning cut creases and I'm not the best. I may cut the sides up a bit, but I'm just, you know, I'm a baby. I'm a baby learning how to play with makeup and how to do eyeshadow because eyeshadow, y'all, is not easy. Okay, so next we're gonna go in with Wet Jewel, which is this really pretty baby pink. There we go, if you can see it here. This really pretty baby pink shade. We're just gonna go with that on the inner corner of the eye and a little on to the top of the lid. I wonder how Jeffrey's doing during this quarantine in his like big fabulous house. I'm sure he's loving it because like he's really getting to just like relax and enjoy his new home. You know, it's like everyone has this mandatory vacation, but maybe we all just needed this. Maybe this is like God's way of being like, okay guys, like world is getting a little chaotic. Everyone needs to slow it down for a beat and enjoy like being at home and relaxing and with being with each other, you know, the people that you have in your house um, and that are surrounded by you all the time or that you're surrounded by. So the next we're gonna go in with Your Majesty, which is this white moment up here. We're gonna just put that in under the brow just to kind of lighten it up just a bit. My eyebrows need to be waxed, honey, so please, no judgment. I haven't left my house in two weeks. I am stuck here, but that's okay. We all are, we're all in this together. So I wanna darken this up just a bit here in my corner. So I'm gonna go in with Blood Queen, which is this darker purple shade here. because I feel like we got a little light with it and I am trying to deepen the look up just a bit. Uh oh, we lost focus, there we go. So we're just gonna deepen that up just a bit. There we go, okay, yeah, love that. Okay, and what to do on the bottom? Let me grab a different brush. I know you guys are probably like, Honey, are you really using the same brush for everything? Yep, I just dust it off and keep going. Don't make fun. Okay, um, hmm, I'm feeling vivid mood, maybe for underneath. And then we'll add a little take the crown. Just a little bit of lavender. Anyone else make crazy faces when they're doing their makeup? Because I do. Like, extremely crazy faces. I don't know why my mouth feels the need to open, but it does. I'm sure people have to like train themselves to not do that. People that, um, I'm gonna uh, dip into Take the Crown a little bit more here in the in the inner corner and bring it underneath. Just a bit. So our eyes are completely surrounded by purple. I might actually just pull that, take the crown over here. It's a really beautiful iridescent bit to it. <laughs> Fall out, honey. Okay. So, I believe that is that is it for now. I may, I may grab this again in just a second. 
I'm going to try something that I've never tried before. Here we go. We're going to try something. Okay. All right. Let's grab a different mirror. We're going to go in with the Jeffree Star Concealer in shade C1. We're going. It's really hard to hold all this in your hands. How do they do this? Okay. I'm taking my dingle hopper. <laughs> this is an Ariel brush from an Ariel, um, the Little Mermaid makeup brush set from Hot Topic, but I love this brush. We're gonna cut this off up the sides. We are learning together, guys. Trial and error, honey. I told myself to keep this video around like 15, 20 minutes and we're already almost at 16. So, you know, we might, we might not make it, but that's okay. That is okay. All right, we're gonna blend that in. I'm gonna use my finger just a touch. Honey, we just, we did that. We cut it. I'm gonna take a brush that has a little bit of purple left over and just sort of lightly, like dust along that edge line so it doesn't look so harsh. Okay. It just kind of gave us Sorry, I have a puppy and I'm making sure she's okay. Yeah, we're good. He's fine and his mommy's fine. Okay. Next one. Dropping things. Going in with this Jeffree Star Morphe. I'm going to just dust away some fallout. There's not much, but we just want to dust it away a, a, a little moment. And then the next thing I'm going to do is grab some highlight. Sorry, I don't have a normal table set up in front of me that I do, so I'm a little all over the place today. Definitely not gonna have this happen again. So first, I'm gonna go in with this Supreme Frost in shade Hypothermia. Look at, she is blinding, yes. And another Jeffree Star Morphe brush. Get my mirror here. We are just going to apply her to the cheekbones. Maybe she'll give us a little bit of a purple sheen since we weren't able to get our hands on the extreme frost. That was so sad. I need to go back and check his website. It may have restocked. I'm, to be honest, I've been trying really hard to not do any online shopping since um, all my jobs are closed during this mess. And then on top of this, I want to add um, this bad boy, which is the Gag Me Extreme Frost. This is the one that had the blue under tint to it. I know blue is not purple, but I really, really, really just want that Jeffree Glow for our look. So we're gonna, we're improvising. I think, I, you know, I like it. She's blinding, it's super fun. I'm gonna put a little bit below the brow bone just to like sparkle her up. She needs a little, a little sparkle. A little bit of a little jazzy moment. Okay, and next, oh, Lord help me Jesus. We are going to do lashes. This is not my strong point, okay? This is not, definitely not my strong moment. Here we go. I'm not gonna do a big wing. I'm using the Glaminetic 
eyeliner because we are going to apply Glamnetic lashes. So let's just pop this right on the lid. It's really hard not to paint your lashes with this stick, but you know, it's okay if a little bit gets on there, I guess. I don't even know why I'm worrying with it. I really wanted to show you guys the Glamnetic um, application in this video just because I did, I did it in my last two. Um, in the Aurora video, I wore a set of lashes from Glamnetic that I wasn't in love with. They were like a little bit too big for my typical look. Um, this set that I'm gonna be applying today is definitely more my speed. And yeah, hopefully it will look a little bit better for you guys. Cause when I went back and watched the Aurora tutorial, I was like, oh honey, Ooh, we look at them lashes looking a hot mess. But that's okay, that's okay. But then I'm going to apply a little bit of their real mascara from Benefit. This is my favorite mascara, but I'm almost out. So, you know, gotta do what you gotta do during the quarantine, I guess. Not like I'm really going anywhere, so I don't need a, a ton of mascara, but I do like to do a little coat on my lashes, um, just so that way they don't stick out amongst the others. And if anyone's curious about what I used on my full face, it's the same products that I used in my Sleep and Beauty Besame collection review. Um, it was the Milk Hydro Grip Primer and then the um, Huda Beauty Foundation and then the Jeffree Star Concealer in C1. My foundation shade is shortbread. And then I have on the Laura Mercier setting powder. So that is what I used to do the base of my face. Okay, sorry, I know I went a little, I, I kind of like started putting on more mascara than originally anticipated, but I was just feeling the moment. Has that ever happened to you guys? Okay, so let's see here. This is the Glamnetic Lashes in Love. Alrighty, here we go, here we go. Lashes, I'm telling y'all, eyeliner and lashes are not my strong point. I am learning with the eye stuff. I think that's partially why I wanna film videos for you guys, is because it, it's a good learning curve for me as well. It makes me like get out of my comfort zone and film you know, with fun colors that I wouldn't always use in, you know, an everyday life setting. But on here, I can get like creative and fun with you guys and play. Sorry, I keep putting this in the wrong spot. There we go. There we go, honey. Got you on there, little lash. Look how pretty these are. Okay, yeah, these are definitely more my speed. Definitely my favorite. These are so pretty. They're even still a little bit long for me. I'm a tad bit more simple and subtle when it comes to lashes, but these are pretty. Some lashes get a little bit out of hand. I know a lot of people love the big lashes, but that it's just not me. They don't look that great on me because I have naturally smaller eyeballs um, than your average person. I know you may not be thinking that I do because I'm on camera and these lights are making them look huge, but they are actually pretty small. But wow, look guys, that is the completed look for our eyes. Oh my gosh, so we just have one product left. 
and I dropped it a while ago. You know me, always gotta be dropping something. So this is the gloss, and it is in the shade Iridescent Throne. I mean, Jeffrey just, it says, two finishes, Glitter Fantasy and Extreme Shine. Juicy, delicious, iconic on its own, or over any lipstick. So we're gonna put it over our little purpley pink moment on the lip. And let's open this bad boy up and see what she looks like. His pack packaging is so good. It always takes me a hot minute to get, oh my God, this is beautiful. Look at this, you guys. I mean, it's just so pretty. Like, I love that he pays so much attention to detail. Like, it's just phenomenal. And it makes me even more excited about his products. You know, like the actual product is amazing. But then the packaging is so amazing too. And I am definitely a sucker for packaging. Oh, this is so pretty. Love that. Let's do a little bit more. I'm doing it mostly on the center. Because when I do gloss on the outer edges, my lips are not huge, but my bottom lip, um, like when I eat or talk or go, oh, I'm not, I don't want to do it right now because it's not dry, but like it touches the bottom and I always get gloss right here and it messes up the rest of my makeup. Does that happen to anybody else? Because that definitely happens to me all the time. Well, wow, this is our completed look. I will um, show you guys a little bit of detail here. And I love it so much. I love all the products that I used on my face today. I'm very pleased with how this turned out. And I can't wait to go outside and take some really pretty spring pictures just to maybe brighten the mood a bit. I have been feeling a little down and blah and just bored. And I really want to go back to work. Like, I miss my job. I miss my coworkers. I miss... <sighs> I miss life. I want to go outside. I want to go shopping. I want to like, and then the pollen is so bad. I feel like I can't really go outside that much because then it starts bothering my allergies. So I just really feel confined. I definitely feel like Rapunzel locked in her tower. I don't know how she did this for 18 years. I have no idea. Bless her soul. Bless her heart. Poor Rapunzel. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching this video. And if you loved it, liked it, please give it a thumbs up and comment below and let me know what you think about this look. Let me know what your favorite part of this look is. Is it the eyeshadow? Is it the lip gloss? What did you get from the Jeffree Star Bloodlust Collection? Because I would love to watch your videos as well. Comment and let me know if you have a video reviewing his products. I love watching Jeffree Star product reviews. And yeah, I hope you guys are being super safe. And I hope you're having a very magical day wherever you are in the world. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.